We have phone call. All right. All right, we have my rock. Okay. Money is tight. And waiting. So I'm getting this energy of somebody wants to talk to you right now or somebody is interested. Like this person is like they want they want to talk. They do want more a more solid foundation with you. But maybe this person is going through financial issues. They're very unstable, um, not in a stable place to build a solid foundation. So I see that maybe somebody wants to talk to you. They want to approach you. They want something more solid with you. But because of whatever they've got going on, um, yeah, they could maybe be waiting until their finances improve or something like that. They're not like I see them kind of like not taking any action or something is at a standstill right now. Um, but I don't feel like they want to lose you and they don't want to lose this connection. All right, let's see. Let's get more. So let's clarify phone call. What is this expression of interest? Wanting to talk. Communication is key. So I feel like maybe even this is somebody that you've maybe had some type of ending with. Somebody could also be trying to wanting to talk to you about putting a re putting something to rest or closing out one cycle, like get it some like getting rid of something outdated. I just saw two 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 on the camera when I said that. Like they they don't like the way that things happen or they want to change something. But I do feel like you maybe told somebody that you were done with them, but they're heartbroken. Okay, and I don't. This person doesn't feel that like they can move on from you. All right, they're holding back though. And they do have like a fear of intimacy, but this person does like, why has this person been trying to fight with like, how do I explain this? They've been trying to like purposely be like fight with you or at odds with you, like in competition. What is this? When, why is this person wanting to contact my collective? See, what about broken promises? Clean up. They're probably telling you some things that they've already told you before. Like I'm working on my money. I'm working on getting my life together. I'm working on cutting out some negativity. I'm working on, you know, making healthier choices for myself. But it says misled, trust is broken, unreliable. So like, you don't believe it when this person says things like this to you anymore? Let's do one more card. What is this communication about? Let's see what it's about. Like this person wants two conflicting things. Yeah, playing games, not serious, carelessness, playing games and tricks. This person may tell you that they want to be this power couple with you or they want to be together. They want something more solid with you. But this person's not opening their heart to you. They're emotionally unavailable or they're physically unavailable. They could be in another relationship for some of you or um, they're avoiding intimacy. Okay. Um, emotional intimacy. Hmm. All right. So tell me about my rock. See, they want to reconcile and they're going to maybe say that they want something more. They will return. So if, if it's not right now, because I do see them not taking action at the moment. They feel like things are not over between the two of you. You may feel like it's done, but they don't feel like things are over. They want to work things out. They do want something more solid with you. But it's not, okay. My rock and reconciliation. See, I, this is the card that I saw when I was shuffling. So yeah, mutual feelings. They're going to want to come to some type of compromise with you. Or they're going to want you to compromise. Kind of like, hear me out. Like, I do want us to get married one day. I do want us to have a solid foundation one day. But I'm dealing with this right now, and I'm dealing with this. So, it's like this person wanting you to compromise with them. Yep, just saw 444 on the camera. Yeah, so a new cycle. Yeah, didn't I say they want to end one thing? Yeah, I said they want to end one cycle of broken promises and misleading you. And they want to have, like, a fresh new one that's more built on a more solid foundation. Mm-hmm. And they want to, yeah, with an equal give and take. So they may have told you this or they're going to. What does this have to do with this communication? Did they tell the collective this? Gosh, maybe they're telling other people, but they're not telling you. What is that about? Heard rumors about you worried, worried others will talk. Okay, what's that do with them? Yeah, they want to come in with a love offer. What's this mean for the collective? You're single and focusing on yourself. You're open, and open to dating or you're just single, focusing on you. I don't know. You guys could be. You guys are trying to avoid um, a repeating cycle with this person. You do not want to go back. Even though you guys kind of maybe feel drawn to this person, you don't want to repeat the cycle with them. I feel like they're talking to other people. Like, why does this person, why do I keep seeing all these um, angel numbers? 555, five, five, change. So, 
things are changing, but why is this person talking to everybody else about what they want with you, that they want to offer their love to you, that they want something more solid with you, that they're making plans for you, talking, to the, who, who, talking about maybe some past, like maybe they're also talking about an ex. What is this cursed? Hypnotized. What does that have to do with them? Unrequited. What does this have to do with the collective? Yeah, you and this person aren't, haven't been on the same page. Two opposing forces. Why? So, so maybe Spirit is just saying, right, you guys, what are they focused on in regards to this connection? Tell me more. What are they focused on? Themselves? What are they focusing? What, are you, what is the collective focusing on? Angry. So, whoops. Hmm. Hmm. We need more clarity on this. But what I was going to say, it's like almost like this person is telling everybody else what they should be telling you. Like this person does not have good communication with you, but I see them telling other people like how they feel about you, what they want with you, what they plan to do in regards to you, but not telling you. Tell me about money is tight. See, what is this about? Carelessness. So their 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 money situation is because of their own carelessness and foolish choices. Tell me more. There is some type of lack energy because they don't know how to like. They're not good with their money. They make dumb choices in regards to their money, uh, or they're just very careless. They don't take it. They don't take it as seriously as they need to. So it says, "Bad timing, waiting for the right time. Patience is needed." What's up with them? Homes. What's up with their home situation? A uh, love activation. What's this have to mean? What's this mean for the collective? You're getting some type of clarity about true love. Oh no, this is them getting clarity about you. Yeah. You guys feel like this person doesn't value you. Maybe they didn't. They were taking you for granted. There was unequal give and take. But I see that changing because we had that energy. Now they what is changing though? Taking for granted, unequal give and take, not feeling appreciated. But they're gonna they didn't. I don't feel like they did, guys. You were right. They at some point they didn't have the same feelings as you, or they didn't want the same things as you, and they weren't giving in the same way that you were. But something is changing. Cause we have this love activation card. Awakening, heart space, opening, twin flame, ascension. So, yeah, and look, lessons. Love lessons learned, shift in perspective, raising your vibration, or they're raising their vibration. And it says unlocking. Locked doors are opening, removing blockages. Love is coming. And you guys know what could be possibly fueling this person to finally have an awakening about you or realize how they really feel about you? Jealousy. Wanting you to themselves, attachment, fear of losing you. Because you guys did come out as single and available and open to dating, right? This is making this person feel like have some type of epiphany about their feelings for you. This energy right here. Cut through. Emotional, mental clarity. Secrets come to light. Breakthrough. And it's like true love. Them realizing that they have true love for you or they're realizing that you had true love for them or you had unconditional love for them. What is home? Maybe this person feels starting to feel like you are there for like where they, who they want or what is home? Holding back. Fear of falling in love. What does home have to do with that? You could feel like home to them. What about children? Maybe they're staying in some type of situation because of children. Hmm, what does children have to do with them? Yeah, look at this mental prison. Overthinking, creating scenarios, thinking of you a lot. They feel like they have maybe have to give up something. What does children mean for this collective? Single. See, you guys are just focusing. Addiction. I don't know, guys. Twin flame. I don't really see this. Is this that could just be them being childish? I don't know, but. Yep, jealousy is fueling this person to have some type of awakening about you. Tell me about waiting. Strategy. Someone's not taking any action towards you, but they're strategizing. They're trying to figure out what to do. Planning their next move. Trying to stay hopeful that, you know, maybe there will still be a chance that you guys could maybe work this out. All right, so tell me what, um, why is this person starting to feel jealous? Is it because they're, they know you're dating again? Why is this person feeling jealous? They feel like you're like about to build something new or you told them that? What is this? Love offers. Maybe they think you're getting love offers. They think there's like, what about love offer? Why are they getting jealous? Stuck in the past. Okay. Forever changed. Hmm. 
what we do, like I said, we have this mental person card. So it says overthinking. They're creating scenarios about you. So the things that are making them jealous could not even be things that you're actually doing. It could just be things that they're making up like in their head about you. They're, they're, you're really heavily on this person's mind. Hmm. What's bringing on this jealousy? All of a sudden. It's you. It's you. They're, so when this card came out on their end. What, what's what's heavily on their mind and is in, in, I can't even talk, and in their energy is that the fact that you're shifting your focus away from them and onto yourself. The fact that you're looking good and you're not with them. They feel very, like, punished by this. They think that they want you to, and probably because you guys are standing your ground now. Tell me more. Shocking events. Fights. What was a shocking event? Some type of argument. Mainly. I don't know. Unpredictable. What about, what's something with the collective? against time they feel like there's like people like yeah they're watching you they're watching you in silence trying to act like they don't really have feelings for you or something <laughs> curious about you not over you checking social media this person feels like you have why is that a shocking event though or maybe they what is the shocking event oh this is not the right way i'm shuffling this what's the shocking event unexpected surprise did not see it coming <laughs> why is this person afraid oh what this person thought that oh so there's an arrogance energy here guys there's arrogance so you guys i told you i feel like you guys told this person you were done with them and they didn't believe you they didn't believe you they thought this was just a break they thought you guys were going to keep repeating this cycle repeating a cycle not learning lessons not making any progress why would they want to do that but you're putting an end to this cycle. Like I said, somebody wants to end this. You maybe even communicated that to them that you only want. Maybe you told this person that what you need, they cannot provide for you. They're not stable enough for you. Okay. Or something like that. Like what? And they feel like there's competition for you. All right. Um, they feel like you are theirs. They didn't, they didn't expect you to go out there and start dating again. They didn't expect you to let them go. Someone's feeling like this urgency that they have to hurry up and do something. Rushing before it's too late took a long time walking on thin ice. So this was like a tower moment for this person. If it wasn't a shocking event, it was a tower. Like you telling that saying this to this person, it was different than what they thought. That it was different than what they thought things were. All right, anything else? Anything else? So they're so they just know you're very attractive. Um, they know that you you're different, you're unique. Um you stand out. They're intimidated by you. See, why does children keep coming out? This person maybe feels very childlike compared to you. But we have marrying each other. Something. Oh, you know what? Mm, you and this person both need inner child healing. That's what it is. You got you and this person both have like some toxic traits that stems from needing to heal your inner child. Like you guys maybe have both have childhood trauma or something. That's a yeah, that's what this is. It says something needs healing. Your, your, your inner child for both of you needs to be healed. And that's been also really adding fuel to the fire as far as like, you know, you guys having like a toxic relationship. Things not working out between the two of you. Um, so what's going to happen going forward? See, it's angry. This person's triggered. I'm telling you, they're, they're, they feel invalidated. They feel you're really triggering their inner child. Like something about like the fact that you're not validating them and the fact that you're not chasing after them you're not waiting on them anymore you feel like you can find somebody better um or whatever you're you know it's it's making them feel very invalidated it's making them feel unworthy yeah and they're feeling very triggered by this so what now self-delusion what about self-delusion what is the delusion what was the not seeing reality clearly, lying to yourself, all no false notions about things. True love. Okay, what's the truth then? Hmm. So I feel like this person's been trying to convince themselves that they don't love you. Yeah, because look at this. No one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. So this person's been maybe trying to tell themselves like, oh, I can find. I feel like this person's been also maybe trying to act like they can find better than you or that they could do better without you to some degree. And you're maybe telling them the same thing, but... It says no one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. So yeah, somebody's been trying to um, 
deny this. They've been lying to themselves about this, hiding their feelings, suppressing their feelings. But what's going to happen now? See, so yeah, they're holding back. They have a fear of love, falling in love. See, what does this home card keep coming out for? Going in circles. It's like with home, I feel like they always come back to you. Like they hold back and then sometimes how, how they always end up coming back to you or something like that to fight. Like, so what's going to happen? Healing. It says renewed hope, a bright future, doing the healing work. Okay. Straight. See, I don't like that though. Stringing along out in the cold. What does this mean for the collective? It's not painful to listen to this person. They see a future with you, but what are they going to do about it? They need to heal. The vine is intervening. Mm. You're cutting somebody off that can't stop. They don't feel like they can move on from you. Regret. So this person that was trying to string you along, I feel like you guys have maybe made the difficult decision to let this person go and focus on healing and focus on the future. This person's feeling rejected. They're feeling left out in the cold by you. And now they're going to start feeling very regretful. And it looks like with healing, though, they're going to maybe start. It says self-care and self-love moving forward, reevaluating needs. And then we have wedding so it says seeing a future with you taking it to the next level they choose you this person needs to heal this part of themselves that have this low self-esteem this low self-worth these abandonment issues that they have um tell me more about healing for this person depression yeah they're they're going through it what about passion they're they're wanting you see it's like this person is weird but they go they go from like one minute they really like want you and they're chasing you and passionate about you and then they switch up and then they're they're acting all weird and sad and like less energy put in like you can't deal with this inconsistency with this person anymore they could literally have a chemical imbalance like they could have a mental health issue all right but you're like telling this person that like you know i'm freeing myself from this because this is so this is too much turbulence they we're not working out i'm going to explore other options um you know I'm, i need to set boundaries because this is not healthy for me but if you know if you if you grow if you work on yourself and you heal. Because right now this person is not ready for commitment. Um, yeah, first true love experiences. I don't know. What's that first love or what's that mean for this person? This person is trying to act like they don't love you. They're watching you. They keep tabs on you. What about divorce? Forbidden fruit. Forever changed. Cut through. Someone's going to start realizing that they are toxic. Like if this person could not see that they were toxic, they're about to realize that they are toxic and they have destructive behaviors. They're going to take some time to leap of faith here because they view you as a wish come true. They view you as wish fulfillment. They're a dream person. They feel like you guys can have a happy ending. Hmm. If this person has had some other um, bad relationship experiences, they've been like wanting to see like, may be sure that you're not going to be another one of those bad relationship experiences but i feel like this person's been repeating a cycle with you so <sighs> goodness See, four of cups. Someone's feeling ignored or like feeling like they may have missed an opportunity here. They, but this person tries to act nonchalant. Like they're not happy, but they try to, they're not fulfilled, but they try to act like they don't have any feelings. They don't have any emotions, but really they feel the ten of swords. Why is what, this energy has been coming through in this week's readings too? These people that try to act like they're not sad, that they're not bothered, that they're not triggered, but they are. This person feels the ten of swords for you about the situation with you. Painful ending, stabbed in the back, loss, being left to bleed out, crisis, deep wounds, collapse, exhaustion, betrayal, failure. So, you look at this, the chariot, cancer energy in reverse. Um, this person doesn't know what they're going to do now. This person does not have any direction. This person kind of feels like if you're not in their life, and they maybe had like had this vision of what they thought their life was going to look like after they met you. And now that you're like, I'm done with you. I'm moving on. I'm exploring other options. I don't want you. Or whatever you're saying to them, they're like, what do I do now? What, what do I do? I'm a lot, like a, lot, a lot, little lost puppy or something. Nine of Wands in reverse. Reckless. What is this person doing? 
Lack of self-control, passive. Yeah, they're very passive. They don't take the initiative. The chariot in reverse. Hmm. Wishy-washy, unstable. Five of cups in reverse. This person's not feeling like that. Five of cups in reverse and the six of cups in reverse. This person is maybe trying to move on and overcome this. But, or this is you. Someone's trying to move on and overcome this, but somebody can't with the six of cups in reverse. Inability to let go. Six of pentacles, the moon. That's the dinosaurs, the sun. Hmm. What's going to happen going forward? What is this person going to do? See, that came out weird. Okay, so we do have death. Tell me more. I don't know if that was supposed to be upright. We have Scorpio energy. Aries Leo Sag. They're about to start, like, transforming. They're like, they're, someone's luck is about to change. In what way? See, Six of Wands reverse. Page of Cups. Okay. Ace of Wands in reverse. Someone's getting rejected. Four of Wands. The Emperor. They're gonna want to come in. They're trying to. They're gonna come in and want to boss up for you guys. I see it. I I see it. They're coming in with an apology, which you guys may block this. See, lack of direction and passion. This person's lost without you. I see them like hesitant, but I see them coming towards you. This is somebody putting their pride to the side. Yeah, this is somebody trying to... Sorry, guys. My camera cut off. So, yeah. I don't know. I see this person wanting to come in and make amends, wanting to step up. Um, I don't know. It looks like with the emperor, they may be stepping into the divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Um, I see them wanting something more stable, but what's the problem, though? Because I see indecisive energy. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. There's going to be some type of turn of events here. What about the high priestess, the magician, okay? And what now, what's, that, what's happening? Giving too much. So what's that mean for this person? What's this mean for this person? The Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, I don't know. Hmm. like you guys may be um you're you're listening to your intuition and you feel like this person's been manipulating you or you just feel like this will not amount to anything it's a waste of your time all right so i feel like you guys are probably how are they handling this how are they handling this i feel like you're not giving to this anymore yeah you feel like you've been giving too much so you feel like there's an unequal give and take so what's that, what's that mean for this person? They're going to rush in with some type of communication. But why is the page of wands in reverse though? They're still, they're unreliable. You can't trust this person or depend on them. Why is the page of wands in reverse? Maybe they're blocked. For some of you, they're blocked. Block communication. Yeah, because I do see the ace of swords here too in reverse. Huh. Now this person maybe feels like there's nothing that they can do. Because you block them. What is that? Why is this person not feeling like they can do anything? Hmm. They just, this person is very like, they need to grow. They do need some time to grow. They're lazy. They don't know what they want for their future. They have a lack of long-term vision. Yeah, they're not ready. Yeah. So are they taking action? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you blocked this person. Be honest. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. You set some type of boundary. Um. Yeah. Kind of going cold on this person. What's this mean for them? Seven of Wands. This person's very guarded and they do have an inability to commit to you because they are, you know, need to heal. So three of Wands. Yeah, there's this energy of maybe they're not taking action towards you right now, but at some point here soon, they're going to learn something or realize something. And I feel like they're going to take some type of action, but... Mm hmm. They're feeling very, like, insecure, though. Like, I don't know. They're still not stable. I don't know why this person's... They have unfinished lessons. Yeah, the Hermit in reverse. They're not ready. So, guys, just be aware that this person may come... Or this already maybe happened. I see there being a fight, and then you choosing to walk away from this and close this out because 
this person's just not ready. Like, I don't know. They're, they need to grow. I don't really know if this is something that already happened. What's happening going forward? What's happening going forward? Page of Cups. Okay. Yeah. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse. I don't know. You're going to have a choice to make. I see someone coming in, not offering a whole lot. Okay. And then. Is he coming in to create some type of illusion? But it's it's a there's delays. This person still doesn't know what they want. So this is something that's gonna happen in the future. This hasn't happened yet. You're not you're not going for this anymore. You're strong enough to not go for this, to defend yourself. Yeah, this person's gonna feel like they failed because you're not going for this this time. So yeah, that ace of swords is coming in, coming out again. Yeah, I see this person's not ready. They're not ready to compromise. They're not ready to work on anything. Uh, things change, the change is happening, though. They're just not ready. So be aware of that. This person coming towards you. They still have not changed. They're just coming to maybe string you along. They're coming to... They may even come in with an apology, but I don't see things being any different. All right, I'm just letting you know. I don't see things being any different. All right, guys. So you're going to just choose to close off to this person, I feel like.